Alrighty then. We are in a place. Harrison Bay State Park. Tennessee, we're north of Chattanooga. Look at that area. Holy mackerel. It's huge. They have a little closer campers than we're used to in Tennessee state parks. But not bad. So I'm going to grill up a couple of pork chops for Linda for supper. We got here about 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. Love the lush forest out behind us. That's cool. So we are just chilling and grilling. And that's about as difficult as it gets. Easy drive from our last state park. And uh, I'll bring you more news later as we get around, okay? I'm uh, just up past our uh, camp area. You turn right where that pickup's turning right in there. It'll be just past the A-frame. Now they got some stuff in here. Um, I'm not sure it's closed right now, but it looks like just memorabilia. And they have ice. We're just right down over there. Uh, yeah, back, back there, back there. So this is uh, Campground A, and it goes around in a, a loop down there. And looks like there's playgrounds down there. I'm going to walk down in a bit. There's a picnic area over there. I just want to see what they have down here. But I wanted to point out the, uh, the little park, kind of like office up here, where you could get ice if you want. There might be some drinks for sale and stuff in there too. Now, right here is a, uh, it's a pretty good sized building. Um, there is a recreation hall in there, and I'm sure that's only reservable. But there's just a big empty floor inside there. Runs the full length almost. Um, I'm sure it's by reservation only. And then down below here is a swimming pool. It's a pretty good size swimming pool. It's a L shape or a 7, depending on your direction. And a wading pool, kiddo's wading pool over there. You can see the lake or the bay back over in that area. So I'm just walking around the uh, campground right now to show you what's here in the future when everything's open and working perfectly. I just uh, came from the rec hall over there. There's a shelter right here. You can't come in this way. You need to come in down uh, behind me. But there's picnic tables around here. Then there's your swimming pool. And then they have a, a large amphitheater down here where... They can hold weddings, maybe. I do. Yeah, that'd be a good place for a wedding, then go to the rec hall. And uh, I'm going to bet over there's the showers for this area. And basketball court. And then, last but not least, the proverbial campground playground. So let's see what the bathrooms look like. Yeah, before I do those bathrooms, I see there's some, uh, looks like boat rentals down here where you could rent boats. The funny thing here is there's no parking close to here. The closest parking would be up there behind the uh, swimming pool where the rec center is. So, And there are uh, picnic tables scattered around here and there and seating. Uh, there's some picnic tables over there, but boy, you'd have to lug it a little distance. Um, giant swing over here but uh, there's the uh, campground area you can drive down that far there's more campgrounds campsites for trailers and campers back up in that loop over there I think uh, the numbers were in the 30s something like that so a lady just came up and tried the uh, bathroom door looks like they may be locked down so sorry about that Charlie I did come on down the hill here, and there's a set of bathrooms here. Looks like there's eight of them. Um, that's the lake right down there, the bay. I keep calling it a bay. It may be a lake, but uh, 
just to show you what the uh, bathroom looks like here. Uh, they're all men, women, handicap access. So, oh, it's nice and cool in here. That feels good. Wow. Yeah, there's a shower. So, I mean, nothing to write home about, of course, but very clean, very nice, and it's air conditioned. Holy moly, I need one of those for my camp, my camper. About two of those. Sometimes you get a little too cold, but boy, it's quiet. Cool, huh? Um, just down from the bathrooms now where the other side of the campground is. These are all pretty good sites here. If you like uh, being right next to the water, 42, um, 43, 44, and 45 looks like maybe up 46. These are really nice because they're right down there and there's people down in there in the water with their uh, little floaty floaties. I wanted to point out, this is uh, campsite 46 right here. Um, 47, it's nice and long. I mean, it's right there next to the bathrooms. But there's also a dump right there. And uh, I don't know if that's black and gray water dump. But I just saw someone with portable uh, blue, blue boy, whatever you want to call that. And... Uh, they came over and just dumped. So that could be a little bit of a a little bit of a pain in the butt. Not to mention a little bit uh, irritating and possibly smelly. The guy just tipped his over. He didn't even uh, have a hose connected to it. But boy, this is a really nice spot right here. So now in uh, Campground A, I'm coming back towards our place. So there's this is the loop going around and we're right over there in the center. This big area, if you wondered what it was, it's a baseball field, hooray! Three strike drought, yeah! So, big area here in the center. We'll see if the other campgrounds look about the same way. Campground B, C, and D. I'm gonna show you a little bit here on the map. Oh, sorry about the shadow. Um, this is our campground. We're right over here at spot number nine. So I went around this way, and that rec hall was up over here, and then came on around that area and made that loop. So the other campgrounds all look about the same. Now, the funny thing is, they don't show a dump site down here. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's gray water only because here's a dump site on the way out. So that's what the area looks like. Now later on I'll uh, we'll take a drive down to the marina and see this area over here. There's no camping in those areas. Uh, those are all for launches it looks like. Well it says area A, B, and D. Maybe those are tenting sites. I'm not sure. Maybe just areas. We'll find out when we get down there. I'm down in Camp uh, Group C, I think is in Charlie. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. But these spots here um, are really tight. You can see how close people are. They've got kind of big rigs, and some of them are jacked in there um, pretty tight. So this is, so far, second to where we're staying. Camp Group site. Uh, D, as in David, is tent site camping only, so you're not going to want to try to get a rig in there at all. So this is Camp Group uh, B. This I'm going down uh, Camp Group Site uh, B, as in boy now, and look at that. <laughs> it's just right over a hill, um, even the airstream there is just kind of parked in the center of the hill. So these are doable, but way, still way, uh, lots of inclines. Jacks are all the way up. Um, I sure wouldn't suggest this one, but if you don't have a choice, you don't have a choice. This is uh, down by the marina. There's uh, quite a few berths here where you can 
park your trailer, park your boat, house your boat, whatever you want to call it. So the uh, launch is on down there. Looks like you can get propane, maybe, uh, maybe fuel. So there's quite a big area down here. I don't think you'd have any troubles with parking. There's a lot of it here at this area. And one advantage of being in Campground B, as in boy, if you can get into it, is they do have pretty good walk down the camping area uh, to get to the water. So I suppose there's probably a trail back there that leads to, uh, here's some more campers over here. I think that was part of B over there. So this area here is designated by map as a fishing pier and uh, picnicking area here. So it's pretty big as far as the, uh, the area. There's picnic tables along the edge of the water all the way all the way on up there. So I'm just pulled up over there just to take a picture for you. So there's a nice sized little fishing pier here. See some people out on paddle boats. Nice area here. Good day, park adventurers, outdoors people, travelers, whatever you may be. Um, we're wrapping it up here at um, Harrison Anyway, you know where I am. I'll put it. <laughs> oh, God. I'm trying to keep some things in my mind. Um, and this was $66.44 for three nights. And Campground A is definitely the better one. I uh, talked to a guy next to me over here who's come here many, many times. And he far provide, uh, prefers this Campground A. So open as you, as you saw. So if you can book that one, and his next choice and mine would be uh, uh, Campground B, as in boy. Um, the tent campsite, I didn't really uh, take anything in there. That, that is definitely cars and vans only. Uh, if you have anything very long, uh, there's some pretty tight turns in there. It was a little tight on my pickup. Uh, so uh, you don't want to go in there with a camper at all. Um, while we were here, we did go to Lookout Mountain, uh, just south of Chattanooga, and boy, that was pretty. That was really nice, so I, I highly recommend you go there. Hopefully things will be open when you go. The uh, Point Park was closed, although we did drive down the hill a little bit to uh, Craven's house and got to walk around there and see some of the sights, and of course the house was closed too. But still, it's, it's a pretty sight and a nice drive. The, um, the stay here was really good. It's hot, it's humid. Uh, that's Tennessee, what can I say? The, um, also, we went into Chattanooga and, and took the uh, Southern Bell River boat. It was, uh, they have different types of, of little cruises. We took about a two-hour uh, cruise up to the dam and back and they played music going up and coming back they played bingo in the bottom deck and then on the promenade and I think the second level the uh, captain gave a little bit of a guided tour about some of the houses in the area and the history um, of the Tennessee River. It was really very interesting which is what we were definitely into and I'm so glad he did that. I was, I was getting a little disappointed because I didn't want to listen to a live band for two hours. <laughs> it just wasn't worth it. Overall, very nice place to come and there's uh, there's other things, uh, Chickamauga National um, Park, something like that, uh, was a little bit further south and didn't realize it until yesterday afternoon that that was there. We'd have liked to have gone to that and it wouldn't have been that far, maybe 30 minutes, um, 45 tops. So today we're off to Whispering River Resort in Walland, Tennessee, and we're going to be there four nights. It's a full hookup campground. We haven't been in a full hookup uh, private campground for a while, 
but uh, there's a Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburger in that area, so we want to take time to drive to those and do a little sightseeing. And, um, oh, I need to show you how I fix the water leak, so I'll do that. Um, you guys get out there, be safe, water fix coming up. This is one of the uh, best glues I have ever used, Gorilla Glue. Yeah, let's make sure I'm focused on that. Yes, Gorilla Glue. And what I did, let's see if I can get my thing in here. I just took some plastic wrap, saran wrap, and because I was going to use my fingers and I remembered how sticky this stuff is. It is immensely sticky and hard to get off. So I scraped off the other stuff underneath the, uh, on, on the side that you saw that black nest that I had. And I just put, uh, wadded up about a one inch wide piece of saran wrap and said, okay, I'm just going to use that and just smear the glue in there a little bit. And then once I smeared it on, I said, well, may as well just leave the, uh, leave that saran wrap on there, plastic wrap. And I did, and we haven't had a leak yet. So until that leaks again, I'm not going to touch it. And if it does, I'm going to let it dry out, put on some Gorilla Tape, and then I'm going to cut a little strip of uh, uh, Eternabon tape and put across there. And I know that's going to hold. So that was how I fixed it. You guys do it Garland style, alrighty?